So here I am in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to create a character using the first method which is creating each of the different pieces of the character separately. So from Photoshop I'm going to create a new file and because I'm targeting the iPad I'm going to use the dimensions of the width and height of, of an iPad and that's going to be our background. We don't really need the background for spine but I I use it as a guide to help me keep the correct proportions of a character in regards to the to the screen size. So I'm going to pick up a, a light color and I'm just going to fill the the background with the with that color. So let me save the file in the my desktop. Okay, this is going to be spine tutorial into the folder spine tutorial in the desktop. Okay, so that's that's done. So let's now draw the character. So I'm going to start with the center or the body. The character is going to be super simple, nothing fancy. So let's start by creating the center of my character. So that's the center. Let me make it like that. So that's done. Okay, so that's the center. Let's add another layer for the head. And using the head I'm going just going to duplicate the layer and this is going to be my right arm. Okay, so my character is ready. So once we have our character ready, we need to export our character um, where each of the layers is going to become a separate image, a separate PMG. Also, in order to do that, I'm going to use a tool that is called Cut. And here in the settings, I just make sure that I have the correct size for the, the device I'm targeting. And here I, I need to make sure that I have a uh, prefix so I can identify the images. 
so this is going to be an orange guy and the name of the file is going to be orange guy underscore and then the layer name dot png and God is going to export this into a folder where I have my Photoshop project so once the settings are correct I'm going to click on this big green button and export the layers And another cool feature of this plugin is that besides exporting the, the layers of separate PNG files, it also compresses the images so that they are very small image files. So let's see what it did for us. So here is my folder. Here is the folder I've created code. And here are the different images that I'm going to use. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm going to create a second character by leveraging the current character we have here, and the only thing I'm going to do is just change the change the the color of the character so that we have a, a different character, but a character that is going to use the same structure as, as the first one. So let me save this as, as character two. Let me select the green color and just fill the different layers with the green. And for the center, I'm going to pick up to pick a different color. Let's say blue. So this is my second character. And once again, I'm going to use cut, but I'm going to change the the prefix for green guy because if I don't do that. Cut is going to replace the other images with, with these new images. So once that's done, let's export the layers. So here we have the images for the green guy and the orange guy. I'm going to do something else. As it is, our character is just a single character, but I want to use um, some tools that our character can use, something we can attach to the character. So let me see if I can find some interesting images from the custom shapes. So let me create a new Photoshop file and this is going to be let me save it as tools so for the tools I'm gonna use let's see I'm going to use this one, change the color to orange, maybe something like yeah, yellow. And let's say that I want my character to use this as a tool. Let's let's say. Okay.
So okay, this is going to be a uh, ray lightning. And uh, let's give our character another tool that he can use in a different layer. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Mm, narrow. Let's say that our character is going to use a narrow. Something like this. Okay, so that's done. Let's export these images again with God. Let's see, iPad. Yeah, ah, these are tools. Yeah, the prefix is as tools. Okay, and export the tools. Okay, let's see what it did. So here we have the tools, the arrow, and the lining in our the pieces for our orange guy. Okay, so with that I think we are we're done finishing the first way of making a character, which is drawing each of the individual pieces of our character in separate layers. And in the next video I'm going to show you how to create the different pieces of our characters out of a single image. So I'll see you in the next video.